What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with some cool tech under $50 for February. The series we show off some of the best tech you can buy under that price point. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But first off, shout out the last month's winners. I'll be in contact with you guys so you can claim your prize. And if you wanna win something from this episode, and again, just hit that thumbs up button down below and comment your favorite product with the hashtag. You can also enter by tweeting at me on Twitter at randomfrankp, hashtag your favorite product, and I'll pick some winners for the next month. Again, anything you see in this episode. Now, first off is something really cool and it was actually requested by a fan, so shout out to you. And this is a headphone hanger with a USB charger built in. This dock is pretty cool. So I've showed off a lot of different headphone stands and hangers on the channel before, but this one gives you that added extra benefit of being able to charge some products on the side as well. You have three USB ports right on the front of the hanger here. And since it has a 3M adhesive on top, you can stick this underneath your desk and it'll just stick there for you. So as you can see, you can put headphones on each side here. What's also cool is where the headphones sit, there's these little grooves so you could possibly route cables and stuff from your charger. It also gives you some mounting gear if you want to kind of like route those cables more efficiently for better cable management. And I've used two of my heaviest pairs of headphones on this and it hasn't fallen off at all. So that 3M adhesive is definitely getting the job done. So I'm loving this. Again, two headphones, three charging ports for all your devices. Knock out two birds with one stone here for your gaming setup. And it comes at only around $22. I think it's a really good price for this. Definitely affordable. And you can see the hashtag down below. Again, just either comment that or tweet it at me to win whatever you want in this episode. Next up is something that I saw from CES that I picked up because it's the most efficient way to get Amazon Alexa in your car, and that is this Rove Viva. All you have to do is plug this into your phone's cigarette lighter, it'll give it power, you connect it to your smartphone, and now you have Alexa in the car. Plus you get two USB ports here for again, charging some devices or whatever you have with you. Now I showed off devices in the past that attempt to do this, like the, uh, the Garmin Speak, but that was just a massive fail. And that was also three times the price of this. Once you download the app, it'll connect everything for you. You then obviously have to sync it to your own uh, Amazon account then, so Alexa's enabled. And yes, keep in mind, this is gonna be using your data on your phone, so don't go crazy, unless you have unlimited, then ask away. And the benefits of having a smart AI like Alexa in your car could be to quickly ask it directions, ask where the nearest, I don't know, Starbucks is, whatever. And then if you have your phone's Bluetooth paired to your car's speakers, obviously it'll play Alexa through your car. And there's a big mute button on the top of the device, so if you don't want it to be listening, you can always just mute it. So I like using things like these, like I said, just to ask random questions I might have while I'm driving. But what is really cool is you can sync your Spotify account to Alexa, and then you play whatever Spotify songs or playlists you might have in the car. That's definitely pretty useful. And one thing that um, I was a big fan of was recently they just put out an update that was causing a lot of crashes and bugs with the newest iOS update. They fixed that within like the first four or five days. So it was cool that they were very proactive on that and fixing it. A lot of the negative reviews on Amazon are reflecting all those crashes, but I'm happy that the update fixed it right away. For $50, if you need Alexa with you in the car, this right now is the best option out there. Next up is for all you PC enthusiasts out there. This one's pretty cool, and again, it's it's what this series is based around, just finding really cool and affordable tech that you might not have known about otherwise. This is an external power and reset button for your PC. So instead of going to your case and pressing the button to turn it on and off, you can do it just from this button. And as you can see, it also has your audio port, so your headphone and microphone jack, plus two USB ports as well. So when you were building your PC, your case came with those cables that you connect to your motherboard. What you do then is just replace those with the ones they have on here. So if you want to have the audio, you plug in the audio to your motherboard header, the USB header as well. And now you can have full control of those things on your desk instead of on your PC. And it's something flashy. There's no extra bells and whistles here. It is what it is. You can turn on and off your PC, hold it in to reset it. You have your audio ports and two USB docks if you want to like plug in a flash drive there right in front of you. But like we showed before on the, uh, the headphone dock, there's also 3M adhesive on the backside, so you could mount this underneath your desk for a more discreet at arm's reach uh, power button. I don't know, I saw it, I definitely thought it was cool. I'm sure some people out there can appreciate this and probably use it for their PC and their desk setup. And it's also really affordable at under $10. I mean, come on, it's worth a shot just to try it out, right? And then it's a new mouse from HyperX. This is the HyperX Pulsefire FPS gaming mouse. It's just 50 bucks and it's extremely reliable and durable. I'm a big fan of it. So this just came out for the holidays. I wanted to pick it up and try it out. And honestly, my adjustment from my uh, G502 mouse to this was very minimal. I got used to this right away. 
I like its simplicity with this, you know, it's simple. You don't have unnecessary RGB lightings and there aren't unnecessary macro buttons anywhere. Yes, there are some red LED lights, but that's it here. You get your basic controls. There's six buttons in total here. And for switching up your DPI, they have a little button here, which is gonna give you four DPI presets. The lowest is 400 DPI and the highest is 3200. You have a nice grippy side texture for your fingers and it just feels durable. These switches are arm round switches, so you're getting a nice tactile feedback when you're gaming. And they use an optical sensor, which is very popular, the Pixar 3310. So I've been using it for the past week. I really like it. And I found that for me, it helps fit the, uh, the palm grip best just due to its size. But that's gonna be obviously depending on the size of your hands. But I'm a big fan of this. And what's also cool is right now you can get the mouse for $45, but there's also a bundle on Amazon where you can get the mouse and a HyperX mouse pad for 50 bucks total. So if you are in the market for a new gaming mouse, maybe you want to pick up a secondary one for when you're on the go or mobile gaming, the Pulsefire FPS mouse is definitely a solid option. And then last is something I've been using for years and never really thought to include it in this series. And that's this Kinevo 4K HDMI switcher. Essentially what this has got to do is plug in multiple inputs. This device lets you have three. Um, other ones out there let you connect five, but you can plug in those inputs to this and only have one HDMI cable going to your TV. So for example, if you have your Xbox One, your PS4 Pro and like your cable box, connect them all to here and then just plug this to your TV and you're good to go. The front side's gonna show you what input is automatically connected and it has like a smart switching feature, which whatever device you turn on, it'll automatically switch to that for you. Or you can just manually toggle it with the button on the front. And they also give you a little wireless remote if you wanna switch it up manually as well. But the smart switching feature I thought was pretty cool. And like I said, this device here has three HDMI inputs, but you can also pick up a bigger one out there with five. And it just cuts down on clutter so you don't have, you know, three HDMIs going to your TV at once. Some TVs don't even have that many HDMI inputs, so it's gonna help you know, keep all your devices intact so you're not constantly unplugging and plugging in different sources. Now this is the 4K version. They also have just a 1080p version as well if you don't have a 4K TV, but this also works for a 1080p input. So you can get either one. But like I said, I've had this for going on two years now. And when I checked the Amazon listing, I didn't think there was any more available. It said they were available from third party sellers. So I'm gonna put a practically identical one uh, down below for you guys so you can check it out as well as the 1080p version. If you need something like this, Obviously, an HDMI switcher is gonna be pretty helpful if you don't have that many sources or if your TV's just getting you know bogged down with too many cables. All right, guys, so that'll wrap it up for some cool tech under $50 for February. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, check the description down below for all the products you saw. They'll be listed down there for you. Or if you wanna win anything, just comment down below your favorite product with the hashtag or hit me up on Twitter with hashtag favorite products and I'll be entering, or I'll be putting those all in and picking a random winner for next month. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.